Hi everyone and welcome to the third video of Python tutorial for computational chemistry. Today we'll try to cover quickly the basic data types that we have in Python. So in Python your data could be numerical data or textual data. Numerical data could be integers, which are the whole numbers without any decimal points, like 1, 6, 2000, 3000 or whatever, or floating point numbers, which are numbers with a decimal point, like 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, or whatever. Those are the basic numeric data in Python. There are other built-in uh, numerical data like complex number or whatever. We will go over this later. But for this tutorial, we'll cover the integers and floats. And of course, this numerical data could be brought to Python to be combined in mathematical expressions or operation or even arranged by a uh, specific magnitude, like descending or ascending or whatever. The other type that you could have in Python, which is a textual data, text, or we call it in Python a string, which is any sequence of data, which is my name is point or my age is 16. So anything inside uh, a double quotes is a string, which you use it later to emphasize something in the code or as an output for some scripts. So we put it in a code to distinguish it from any Python command. You will understand this later when we do some examples. So I bring some text data to, to Python for text mining, for example, to be arranged or to be reshaped or to be arranged, for example, according to alphabetical order. So let's try to ask Python about some data types. For example, if I said to Python x equal to 5, okay, you can simply ask Python about your data type. If I said type of of x, it will say integer. But if I said to, 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 to Python like y for example equal to 3.5 and then I will ask Python to give me the type of y, it will say float. So this is an integer, number without decimal point and here we have a float. And numeric data can be combined in mathematical operation, either float or integer. For example, you can e say z equal to x plus y, and then I can tell Python to give me the value of z. Okay, so it's 8.5. What about strings? We can ask Python to assign some strings. I can say d equal to quotation and I can say energy is equal to and I store it. Then you can use both your numerical data and your textual data in something to show up in your code. For example, I can tell Python to print this thing uh, D and X. Look. So energy is equal to 5. I think now we got the, the logic why we need some text in our in, in our code. Okay, so we forgot to ask Python about the type of of D. It will say string. It's text. It's not numeric. It cannot be combined in mathematical operation with, with Python. For example, if I told Python to do x which is equal to 3.5 or to 5 plus d, which is a text, it will give me an error because this is a string and this is a numerical a numerical data. One more thing I, I, I want to cover is you can force Python to assign numerical data to text. For example, I can tell Python that x equal to string 5. Okay? So Python now will consider x as a string, not as a text. And if I ask Python to do the basic calculation of x plus y, it will give me an error because it's float, which is a numeric, and this is string. This is a very brief introduction to the data type of Python, data types of Python. And as I said at the beginning of the video, we have complex number or imaginary numbers that we're going to introduce later. But for our case, for computational chemistry, this is not needed. So this was a brief introduction and see you in the next video and thank you.